can you see how beautiful that is you know, it feels like you're watching some kind of like <laughs> ballet movement number one of um, tundra violet or something like that <laughs> hi good afternoon everyone i am so super excited because i finally ha have my hands on the uh, tundra and the uh, forest colors uh, that are from the uh, Sherminki Horridum Aquarelle Super Granulating um, Special Edition Colours. So the, um, this series of colours uh, came um, about, I think, half a year after the Galaxy um, Glacier and the under, under, uh, Undersea? No, <laughs> Deep Sea series. Um, and there are five colours in each series. So can you see the forest series? Look just like they are probably just five colours, five greens. This is more cool, more mysterious colours like the Deep Sea series kind. And remember, I actually did like a prediction and I was saying like, you know, once I get my hands on these, I'm just going to compare them and see how close I was. And this is going to be a very exciting video. So yeah, let's go! Right, so this is the first, first colour we have here is the Forest Grey. So let's start with the swatch and let's just compare. So this, is, this was what I predicted. So let's just see how it actually looks like. Oh, I think it's pretty close. I think I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty close. Okay, pleasantly surprised. Okay, pretty, pretty close, I would say. Yeah, I do think they, do, they actually use more of the black pigment. So the next color is forest brown. Okay, it's more green. It's more green than I had expected it to be. It's actually really, the, the, the one that I actually made is much more darker. Um, there's more, uh, it's more brown. And this one, the actual one, is really um, probably has got a higher percentage of that cobalt green dark. All right, I would say I failed <laughs> for forest brown. I totally failed the color. I guess I really took the brown, uh, you know, forest brown too literally. Like I thought that it's actually it should be more brown um, than it, than it should than it is uh, on the label. So yeah. For the next color, we have uh, forest olive. So this color is quite similar, quite similar to what we had just now, the forest brown. It is a little bit more yellow, so I think it's pretty close. What I've predicted is pretty close, okay? Next color is forest green. I would say that I, I think I have actually thought of it as being more brown, like, can you see from I, I actually predicted it to be along here and it seemed to be more green than brown so I don't really see much of that mahogany brown um, it only appears uh, when you can you see when you actually dilute it out so the next color is forest blue oh it's so much darker it's much darker than I had actually uh, thought it would be so it really does look there like that there is more green than blue to it so I am quite off with this one. My color prediction, I must say that um, this one I got it wrong. This is tundra green. I think this also looks more like a olive green, like a brown. Can you see the green actually looks more brown, diluted? See so much different, how different it is when it's dried. This brown here may be a little bit too, uh, too, too reddish. It doesn't seem like the, the right brown, so I'm not sure what happened here, what happened to the PBR6. Because the PBR6 here, the mask brown, is actually more, more reddish. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I think I'm completely wrong here in this one as well. Very interesting colour. This colour is Tundra Orange. Um, can you see how it is more like an ochre colour? I think it's pretty close. What I have predict, My prediction is pretty close to the actual colour. The next colour here is Tundra Pink. It's more violet that, than pink, I would say. Like it feels more like a violet, like a magenta violet. So the Tundra Pink doesn't look like a pink, so I must say um, it probably falls probably here. Right, the colour that I've predicted is actually more pink, too pink. So the next colour is Tundra Violet. So we already have a violet, so I wonder how this violet would look. Oh, it looks pretty dark. So it feels to me like a very dark, like a grey colour. Okay, it's supposed to be semi-transparent. Oh, I love this colour. It's it's like a shadow, 
mixture. So I would say that this is really a, a convenient shadow mixture. So compared to what I have predicted, I think the colour is much darker. So uh, I think, yeah, I failed in this one as well. So the next colour is Tundra Blue. It looks very blue here, like an indentrine blue, like a deep indigo blue kind of colour. I don't really, I, I don't really see any of that green amber. They may have used um, more of the ultramarine, uh, French ultramarine. So this one, I think I failed. <laughs> now that we have seen the actual colours, it should be a piece of cake uh, to figure out how to mix these forest and tundra colours. So um, as before, uh, Shemming actually only used existing granulating colours um, for this new mixture. So let's begin with the more straightforward pigments or colours that are involved. Let's start from the top. So from the top, uh, we have PB33, PBR33, which is mahogany brown, with PG19, cobalt green pure. And that gives us the forest green, all right? PG19, which is uh, for uh, cobalt green pure, to, uh, with mask brown, PBR6, give us tundra green. Mask Brown PBR6 together with PB29 French Ultramarine gives us Tundra Violet. Tundra Pink is made up of PB29 French Ultramarine and PBR2, PB233 Potter's Pink. It is in fact uh, the same pigment uh, used in uh, Galaxy Violet. Three of these are pigments uh, that were used that we actually need to do more analysis. And for the colours containing PBR7, which we had three candidates, um, the maroon brown, green umber and burnt umber, I think from the swatch we can actually see that it's most likely the green umber that was being used. And when uh, green umber PBR7 is mixed with PB29, it gives us the uh, tundra blue. The combination of PBR7, which is green umber, PG50, cobalt turquoise, and PBK11, mask black, gives us forest grey. And we have established that uh, PB36, which is used here, is actually cobalt green turquoise. And uh, with PBK11 mask black, it gives us forest blue. For the mixture, uh, color mixture uh, of PY43 and PBR7, which we had to decide whether it was uh, raw sienna or raw umber. This raw umber here is actually duller. The color is duller, less yellow uh, than the raw sienna. And from here, we can actually see that it's most likely raw umber because the color is kind of like subtle. Furthermore, it's also a granulating color, so it, it does make sense. And with uh, PB, PR233, uh, which is the potter's pink, it makes the tundra orange. With uh, P, PG26, cobalt green dark, it gives us the forest brown. And when combined with Viridian, which is PG twenty uh, PG eighteen, we have the cobalt, uh, the forest olive. And there you have it. Here are all the colors uh, that are from the Shemink uh, Forest and Tundra colors Tundra series, uh, made from the existing uh, granulating colors, uh, granulating paints that you can find in the Shemink uh, range. Generally, I find the naming of the color a bit strange. For example, forest brown. Forest brown looks more like a green, and tundra green is more brown, right? And um, tundra orange is actually more brown than it is orange. Tundra pink is more violet than it is pink. Um, yeah, the rest, I guess, are still quite all right. Um, but they are all very beautiful colors. I love the separation. Our example would be like forest green, tundra green, 
uh, forest grey, tundra violet, and tundra pink. So some of these are really beautiful. I am gonna do a giveaway. Um, I'm gonna make a dot card um, containing these 10 colors, and I'll be sending it to three lucky winners. Uh, it's open to everybody, it's an international giveaway. So all you need to do is to write down your favorite color. Information in the uh, description box below. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you had, give me a thumbs up. Thanks, like, like my video. If the contents uh, resonate with you, uh, yeah, consider subscribing. All right, I will be talking more about these colors like in details in the uh, subsequent videos where I talk about them uh, using them in an actual drawing, the similar colors, how you they interact with different colors. So I hope that you stay tuned to the upcoming videos. All right, bye-bye. Um,